Hello everyone, Valley Beekeeper here. We're going to be putting some frames together. We're in the shop today. Uh, it's a good thing to do in the spring uh, before your bees come. you got to have everything ready before they get there. Um, or maybe you're just expanding or something like that. You're trying to have some more frames. We've got two different ways we're going to do it today. We've got the J that works really well and really quick for uh, putting frames together, but it's not always necessary. Uh, this, this does cost a little bit of money, and for most backyard beekeepers, they probably won't need it. So, but we are going to show how to do that in the uh, second half of the video. We've got our medium frames. Doesn't matter if you do medium, deep, uh, split bottom, whatever. It's all concepts are all pretty much the same. A couple things that you want to have. If you do not have the jig, you're going to need a speed square, a nailer of some sort. I use the Hitachi. I also use the one inch nails again. One inch. See, it's pretty small. 18 gauge, um, rubber mallet, and regular hammer if you're using it that way. If you're going to use regular nails, you want to make sure they're not too thick because you can run the problem of splitting the sides. This is a one and a quarter inch nail. It's about pretty much as, as big as you're going to want to go. So, and last but not least, our Titebond 3. This is the, uh, the best glue available. I love this stuff. Uh, we'll have an affiliate link in the bottom to, uh, to buy some of that. And also nice to have, not necessary, the tight brush. Works really good as well. You'll see that later. If you could, go ahead and hit like on the uh, video and subscribe if you could, please. Before we get started, I like to have everything I'm going to use out in front of me. So it makes it really easy to knock these out pretty quick. Like I, I like to lay all the top bars out in front of me. This way up. A little space in between them. You'll see why here in just a minute. So here we go. We got all 10 lined up here. All spaced out. Okay. Then we take our sides. I like to keep these sort of lined up. Okay, so what we're going to do here is I hold a few, bunch of these together like this. So making, gluing them is much easier when they're all together like this. So line all these up nice and straight. We're going to glue across here. Glue across the sides a little bit. Okay. And we take our brush and we mix it all over the place here all the sides all three sides are completely covered with with glue okay so we got there now makes this easy about doing these you just peel these off and stick them in really easy and then we just repeat the process You take care of this stuff and it will last a very, very long time. I've got frames um, that the, uh, the old timer that I used to work with, he gave me when he passed and some of those frames are 15, over 15 years old and they're still, they're still going strong. And then we glue again. Take our glue, and we got to. We want to get it in all of the surfaces that touch the bottom. You see here. We want to get it all in there, which again, which is why this brush makes it really good to get all in there. Okay. Here's the bottoms right here. Take these out. Get these ready. We're using a grooved bottom piece here. But the principles are the same for pretty much any frame that you're making. Um, we've got the, of course, groove top here. These are wedge style. But again, it really doesn't matter that much. It's all pretty much the same. Okay, so we're going to glue again here. Okay, got that in there. Come back. Get this all over sides. And 
got all of our glue in there. Pretty much the same process as before. We just go through, stick these in. I like to line them up with the sides. All right? You don't. Sometimes they don't quite line up. These uh, sides don't stick up perfectly straight, and you'll get a kind of a weird thing here where it doesn't line up on both sides. We'll fix that later. So basically, we're just. I want one side flush here because we're going to come back through and nail this side and then we'll see if that side's lined up and we'll push it just a little bit if we need to. And again, this is the no jig method, which is, is perfectly fine for people who don't build a lot of frames. Generally your, your average backyard beekeeper will build maybe two hives worth of frames which would be 40 deeps and then maybe another 20 mediums or even 40 mediums depending on how many you do and really never make another frame again and so that's why I don't think it's quite necessary for people to buy the jig okay so here we go all of our right sides are lined up we've got Hitachi Brad Naylor here this works really really well here um, the size I'm using here it's just a one inch 18 gauge nail and if you make a lot of frames it is beneficial to buy this big box that's the size right there uh, if not they sell smaller sizes as well uh, this is 5,000 nails so you don't quite need that many for most people all right so one thing the other to uh, note on this is you want to check out your regulation air regulated air that's coming out I've got mine set for just a little bit above 80 and that's to make sure the nail doesn't go so far into it so here we go uh, I usually do just one nail just that simple okay you can do two a second on the top side here I've just never really found it necessary to do two. I am doing two here just to show you, but I usually just do the one on one side. One thing to note here is when you're doing this, you want to make sure your nailer is very, very straight up and down here, not going off the side either direction, because what happens is this, this piece is really thin here. So you shoot this at an angle and it will pop out the sides. It's not a big deal. And what we usually do is come back with some wood glue and just put some wood glue over it. If it's really bad, you can rip it out and just put another one in there. It's really not that big of a deal. So we got this side done. And since I'm right-handed, I just really prefer it to be on the right side. So I'm going to flip these around here. Now these are a little bit off through here. So I'm going to make sure that these line up. All you got to do is line that baby up. And I put a little pressure down here and it, it stays right where you want it to. There we go. Line that one up. Sometimes they'll stay just by the, the stickiness. The other thing to think about here too is if you're using regular nails, regular nails are a bit thicker than these brad nails. Right? That's about the size I would use on these. Um, what can happen sometimes is you'll split this side. As you nail through here, this, this, this pine is, is not the strongest of stuff. So it'll split up here or down up here. Doesn't matter. No big deal. Tear it apart. And what you'll do is you'll take this, this side piece, just take your wood glue, type on three, glue it in the crack, and then take a clamp, clamp it together, go right back to work when it uh, dries. It should be no problem. I've done that a lot. It works just fine. All right, so after we get done, after we get done nailing the bottom, it's really easy. We just flip these over. You can take a bunch of them at a time, flip them over. Put them all up together, real nice. And nail the top. All 
All right, so now that we have all the frames together, we are going to, since this is not a jig, we need to take our speed square and check these out. Now we're gonna look here, if you'll see, this one's a little bit off, okay? This is our top piece here. So it's really easy to put that on there, slide it down, take a look at our side, and it's off a little bit. So I'm just gonna pop this, this corner a little bit. Pull that out, pull it up too much, go back just a little bit. And there we are right there. So what I'm gonna do is to dry it, make these, set these dry, there's glue right in this corner right here. If you use enough glue, I really like that little bit of extra glue in there. So to keep that from running down, I put these back on the top bar to dry. There we go, looks good. These uh, companies making frames nowadays make these frames pretty precise. And uh, you generally don't need to mess with them too much. They're really good about being square. And even if they're not perfectly square, there's still room on the sides inside of the box for frames to be off a little bit. It's not because these sides aren't right up next to the edge of the box. So there is room if they're a little bit off. But there we go. That's all 10 of our frames assembled, ready to dry, and be ready to use soon. Now, let's go to the jig method.